After an impressive offensive performance by the Red Sox on Thursday, Rick Porcello looks to continue his dominance versus the Yankees at Fenway. The first batter of the game, Porcello hits Brett Gardner on the 0-2 pitch. Gardner obviously not happy, but this was just the beginning of the fireworks. Mookie Betts, at age 25, he has emerged as one of the top handful of players in all of baseball. Spun around by the first offering from Severino, and to call it an offering is to be kind. Might have been a message. And Adam Hammery oh, is warning be both kidding. benches right away. You got to be kidding me. Well, Cora's saying the same thing. And Hammery saying, stay right there. He threw him out of the game. Threw him out of the game, just like that. You cannot give a warning there. It's hard to read intent. I didn't appreciate them throwing up my my lead up guy. And uh, didn't like the fact that uh, they gave a warning. If they felt that way, that that pitch had intent, just throw him out of the game. Is this over from your perspective? I don't Is know. We scored tonight? four runs in less than six innings. Is that a quality start? And that was the first pitch of the game. I'm not going to hit anybody. If I kind of hit somebody, I'm not going to miss. So now here's Steve Pierce. He hit three home runs last night, two of them off right handers. And he drives this one to deep left. It's way back. And in two, it's gone. Well, Alex Cora has been ejected, but not before he made out the lineup card. And he wisely penciled Steve Pierce in. And Pierce delivers once again. The Red Sox are now a perfect 13 for 13 in stolen base attempts against the Yankees this year. A pop into shallow right. It may be well placed. It'll drop. And here comes Kinsler trotting home with the third round. They blast them and they bloop them. And they're up 3 nothing. The word on Ian Kinsler, he left the game with left hamstring tightness. The way he crosses the plate, kind of moving gingerly and then grimacing just a little bit. Mookie Betts is now on the infield. So add to everything else he can do, versatility. So Betts is the second baseman, and he's going to get a chance right here. He goes to his knees, he gets back up, and he throws him out. <laughs> that is so impressive. Ball's going to find you. Played second base a lot in the minors. This is the first time he's played second base in a major league game since his rookie year. You're watching an absolute pitching clinic tonight by Rick Porcello. He's faced one batter over the minimum, and he's retired 12 straight since Andujar hit the home run. The only hit he's allowed. But he's got such confidence in his secondary pitches. Sometimes it's just your night. And right now, it's Rick Porcello's night. The last complete game in the major leagues with fewer than 90 pitches thrown? Well, it was Porcello himself. The 1 2 to Gardner. Hit toward the middle. It's taken there by Bogarts. He throws him out, and that completes a masterpiece by Rick Porcello. I think if you take you know everything in, into consideration that that ball club over there with that offense and you know where we are and what we need to do it was uh, you know it came at a really good time and um, yeah I mean I can't think of too many games that I've thrown the ball like that. Boston wins this one four to one needing just 86 pitches Rick Porcello leads the Red Sox to their second straight win over the Yankees Porcello retired the final 21 batters he faced following Miguel Andujar's homer in the third. Well, Rick Porcello was certainly the story of the night at Fenway Park, but his teammates got him off to a good start. Bottom of the first, Steve Pierce, who had homered three times in game one of the series, connected off Luis Severino. That made it two to nothing. They tagged on another one in that inning, three zip. And from there, Porcello had all he needed. Talk about getting hot and seeing a softball at the place. Well, StatCast AI, powered by AWS, is going to tell us how Pierce unloaded on this fastball and that was all that Purcello needed this fastball got out in a hurry and you talk about 404 feet and 24 degree launch angle well Pierce stayed hot the Red Sox stayed hot but Porcello threw a gem if you're going to look at a video if you ever get in a slump this is what you want to watch over and over and over again it didn't matter what pitch it didn't matter what the count was. He was on his game in control and completely stifled the Yankees. Rick Porcello and the Boston Red Sox are quietly telling the rest of the leagues we are much better than everybody else. Apparently you can be 100 plus victory good as the Yankees are and still not be as good as the Red Sox presently are. And the reality is 
that the two teams vying for the second and last wild card spot, the Mariners and the A's, are now closer to the Yankees than the Yankees are to the Red Sox. Final score 4-1 at Fenway.